Steam is a well-known online marketplace where you may purchase a digital copy of your favorite PC game instead of going to a store to purchase a physical copy of the game. Most individuals may just download it to their computer. Although this is a reliable platform, certain problems may arise from time to time. In this video, you'll learn how to fix the frustrating unable to initialize Steam API error. We recommend that you restart your computer before doing any of the recommended solutions in this video. This procedure will refresh the operating system and delete any corrupt temporary data that may be causing the issue. It's possible that your firewall is preventing the Steam game from connecting to the internet, which is causing this problem. If this is the case, you will need to add the game to the firewall exemption list. Open the control panel by searching for this tool in the start button. Locate the Windows Firewall option. Click on Windows Firewall and click on the Allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall option from the left side list of options. The list of apps should open. Locate the game entry on the list and check the boxes next to both private and public networks. Click OK and restart your computer. Steam Beta generally includes various new features that are not available in the stable version of Steam. It is also infamous for having several bugs, which is most likely the source of this issue. To resolve this, return to the stable version of Steam. Open the Steam PC client by double-clicking it on the desktop. Click on the Steam option at the menu at the top of the client's screen and choose Settings. From the Account tab and click the Change button under the Beta Participation section. A new window should open so check again under Beta Participation and click to open the drop-down menu. Choose the Note. Opt out of all Beta Programs option and apply the changes you have made. Use the Ctrl plus Shift plus S key combination by pressing the keys in the same time to open the Task Manager utility. Click on More Details at the bottom left part of the window in order to expand Task Manager and search for any Steam related processes such as Steam.exe, Steam Client Bootstrapper, or Game Overlay UI.exe. Select them one by one and choose the End Task option from the lower right part of the window. Click Yes to the message which is going to be displayed which should warn about how ending various processes may affect your computer so make sure you just confirm it. Reopen the Steam client and launch the game from the Library tab. The Steam client may require higher permissions to launch some programs which is why you must run this as an administrator. Look for the Steam executable and open its properties by right-clicking its entry. Go to the Compatibility tab in the Properties window and check the box next to the Run this program as an administrator option before applying the changes. Confirm any dialogs which may appear which should prompt you to confirm the choice with admin privileges and Steam should launch with admin privileges from now on. Open Steam by double-clicking its icon and try relaunching the game. Proceeding methods do not resolve the issue. Your final option is to uninstall and then reinstall Steam. Before you do that, make sure that you back up your games on Steam. By doing this, you will skip the hassle of downloading your games again. You have to transfer your game installation folder to any available drives that has plenty of space. Once you're done, begin uninstalling the Steam app. You can redownload the latest version of Steam by going to their official website. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.